वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल लुकिंग एट इम्पोर्टेंट हेडलाइंस फ्रॉम द हिंदू न्यूज पेपर फॉर ट्वेंटी एथ मार्च ऑन द फ्रंट पेज यू हैव कोविड नाइनटीन पी एम कॉल्स फॉर सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग पीपल्स कर्फ्यू सो प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी अर्ज द रेशन एज सच टू फेस द कोरोना वायरस पेंडेमिक विथ कलेक्टिव डिटर्मिनेशन एंड पेशेंस एंड मेक श्योर दैट ह्यूमैनिटी एंड इंडिया प्रिवेल्स सो ही हैज आज फॉर जनता कर्फ्यू which will be on sunday 22nd march from 7 am to 9 pm so people should not go out or gather in societies they should stay at home and stock uh, there should be no panic buying is what the prime minister has emphasized on no panic buying or holding of uh, essential items food items or medicines should be uh, there so and also for senior citizens he has urged them to avoid going out in the next couple of weeks not just today and social distancing that is uh, you know people staying away from gatherings crowds and people to escape the disease so this is there for employees also like trade as well traders as well as affluent he has asked that they have been asked to look after the interest of their staff and not penalize them for being not able to attend work due to travel and other restrictions also at 5 pm the prime minister on sunday 22nd march he has asked that uh, pe- people should express appreciation for those employed in hospitals airports railways police and other such essential services who have been working during this time so they, they should express appreciation through clapping or you know ringing as such and here you have indian pilgrim dies in iran so one of the 255 indian pilgrim in iran was suffering from corona virus has died there and this is virus toll in gujarat chatisgarh increasing you know, first case de- detected in these two states also so now there's ban or on all international passenger flights from march 22 to march 29 so as we see the whole paper is filled with corona virus related cases so we don't need to collect so many articles every day on corona virus and then here again this is the lead uh, the editorial drastic but necessary so this is regarding speakers it says speakers must realize that deliberate inaction on defection matters is no more an option so supreme court had given its order uh, trip, stripping manipur minister of his office and barring him from entering the state assembly so this may look a drastic and unusual step but it is reasonable and necessary course of action it says because uh, uh, this manipur minister t shyam kumar was elected as congress candidate but defected to bjp to join biren singh cabinet so in a landmark judgment in jan 2020 which put an end to this deliberate inaction of presiding officers on petitions for disqualifying defectors a uh, bench headed by justice roik then pariman had ruled that courts have the power to fix time frame for speakers to dispose the petition under any defection law and in this case court had given a reasonable period of 4 weeks but the speaker failed to comply and on march 4 he had promised a decision within 10 days but again on march 18 he again sought time so in this background court invoked its extraordinary powers under article 142 of the constitution to take the sort of measure that would kick in if a defector concerned had been disqualified So that is the court did the job of the speaker. So this is there. So this is called floor crossing, means going over to crossing over into another political party. So the so defectors will have to face the consequences now, if not through the speaker, then through the Supreme Court. And this is waiting for Rajni. So this is regarding Rajni Khan. so it says rajnikanth's aspirations are far above the efforts he is willing to put in as a leader so rajnikanth wants to enter into politics and there is a political vacuum in tamil nadu but two years after declaring himself worthy of filling that vacuum to uh, rajnikanth appears confusing and doubting so that this editorial is regarding that you can skip it the lead article is giving human rights commission more teeth so this is regarding uh, madras high court which is going to decide on whether the recommendations made by human rights commission are binding upon states or not so the high court is hearing this case so that is covered here and this is regarding corona virus and it says covid 19 what nature seems to be telling us this is an article from the president ramnath kovin 
it says it is reminding us that we need to acknowledge with humility our quintessential equality and interdependence talks about quarantining world self the whole world how is it one family and affected simultaneously then on fridays on opec opet page you have this parle coverage in which the question is will modi's covid 19 fund initiative revive sark so this was a fund which was announced by prime minister narendra modi in a sark video conference so it's the article says only robust political will and cooperation not conflict can lead to development in the region so sark needs to be revived there's no doubt about it but conflict between india and pakistan has been a major roadblock and this is need for reorientation so this talks about state universities how they'll have to deliver more to the state where they are located this talks about higher education institutions on page 12 you have you have the madhya pradesh case but then we'll discuss this when actually things happen rather than discussing in bits and pieces every day and this is new definition of msme soon so this is uh, union micro small and medium enterprises minister nitin gadkari who has told the rajya sabha that government would come out with a new definition of msmes which are currently defined on the basis of investment in plant and machinery so a new definition with comfort he says that uh, you can see here the concerns also have been raised regarding this but the minister said that government was trying to convert hurdles which are there because msmes have been affected because of gst so it's the hurdles into opportunities will be converted into opportunities So MSME sector currently contributes 24% of the country's GDP growth, 48% of exports, and have an annual turnover of 1 lakh crore. So the target of 5 lakh crore in five years has been set, is what the minister says. So again, this is an article which doesn't have the information about what definition, new definition would be there for MSMEs. So again, we can wait for the actual news when MSMEs are covered. and this new definition comes forth on page 13 you have defense ministry places order for 16479 light machine guns so this deal is with israeli weapon industry and is worth 880 crore rupees so this contract has been signed also army is close to signing procurement of 7.5 lakh ak203 assault rifles too. most of which would be manufactured locally by an india russia joint venture under technology transfer then also in feb 2019 uh, the uh, we have the six sor of usa rifles so this is 6716 assault rifles which we have ordered 72400 such rifles worth 700 crore rupees So, army has recently begun its first batch of production of 10000 six or rifles also then we have these negev uh, uh, light machine guns which are we are procuring from uh, israeli weapons industry on international page you have italy overtakes china's virus death toll So it records three thousand four hundred and five deaths against China's three thousand two hundred forty-five. London faces shutdown. Queen heads for ancient castle. And here you have uh, no new local coronavirus infection has been detected in China now. So government hails the efficacy of its top-down bureaucracy. They have ended the disease spread there. And this is an important news. UK apologizes for Windrush scandal. So the British government has apologized for its treatment of Britons of Caribbean origin who were wrongly detained or deported for being illegal immigrants after the publication of a devastating official report. So their status was regularized only in 1971, but few were given few were given any official documentation for that. Too. And hundreds and potentially thousands were caught up in immigration clampdowns, which 164 people who were uh, who arrived before 1973 either detained or deported since 2002. So this is a Windrush scandal of UK. You should know about this. Uh, on business page again, you have how the economy has been affected because of the impact of the virus, coronavirus, COVID-19. So we need to cover anything. 
So that is it. These are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website asr.com. Thank you.